Hi and Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh This assignment is all about the planning and scheduling of a project proposal As for our project, we decided to commence a project proposal of installing a motion sensor at a corridor and a toilet for Unimap building Our group consists of 4 members According to this table, we got our first presenter that is Nick and a second presenter that is me myself So Next, our beloved girl members, Aida Izati, and lastly, the backbone of this assessment, Kamarul. So let's just start with uh, Nick to talk briefly about this project introduction. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and good day. Uh, my name is Nima Mokaris Bin Saki, and today I would like to present about the project introduction. Okay. But before that, uh, the goals of project management is to provide a finished product uh, that meets the requirement of the clients. But in many instances, project management needs to be flexible uh, to modify certain demand of the clients in order to realistically achieve the project's goal. Okay. So how the project management will help is by planning and uh, arranging the resources. Uh, by doing this, we can do it according to the project's goal uh, and we can comprehend uh, what's going on in the project uh, so that we can uh, take an action uh, or to manage the problem that might arise. The proposal of this project is the detailed planning and scheduling for the installation of motion sensors and corridors and at the toilet for unit building. Okay? Uh, we are also collecting the data from the research review. Uh, we look at the past project uh, to find out what is the benefit of installing the motion sensors okay, and how to do it. So based on the installation of motion sensors in, in Indonesia, the cost of electricity there is really high. So in order to reduce electricity cost, uh, it's installing the motion sensor. By installing the motion sensor, uh, it can reducing the electricity bill due to the improvement of the energy efficiency. Because as we know, when there is no, when there is an absence in the motion, the light will not be turned on, so it will save a lot of money, a lot of energy. Okay, in this project also, we'll be including the step-by-step -step, uh, to execute this project, starting with planning, okay, so for planning, uh, on how to identify the key activities, uh, the 10 key activities, uh, the resources requirement, and we also did a uh, budget estimation for every activities. Okay, so for the scheduling, uh, we use a, a lot of tools uh, such as project uh, manager schedule, uh, project master schedule, okay, linear responsibility chart, uh, and diagram, and Gantt chart, okay, uh, to track it better. Okay, and this project will make a significant contribution uh, for the complete completion of the project, uh, also uh, to create a building which is energy efficient. Okay, next, uh, let's move on to the project description. Okay, so the project is the installation of motion sensors at corridors and at the toilet in the unit buildings. Uh, these motion sensors uh, will be connected to the lighting of the building. Okay, we also have to be aware not to connect it uh, near the air vents uh, in order for the sensors to work efficiently. Okay, the light will turn on if there is a motion and turn off the light uh, with the absence of the motion. Okay, these motion sensors uh, works by detection, uh, the motion and activate a response. So the passive infrared detected uh, is necessary for this uh, installation. Okay, next, uh, let's move on to the project objectives. So the first one is to develop the method on planning and scheduling the project, uh, as I described earlier, the tools uh, that will be required. And the second one is to develop the precise budget estimation and resources uh, for every other activity to make sure the project uh, does not exceed the budget. And then the last one is to develop uh, the Gantt chart of the project that will help the project to complete in time uh, with uh, sufficient resources. Okay, uh, this Gantt chart also will help with monitoring of all the activities and resources. Next, uh, let's talk about the project scopes. So the scope, the first one is the installation on one building only uh, of all the unit buildings. The second one is the proposal is limited uh, to only planning and scheduling. And then the activities will be required is only 10. And there are several methods used to schedule and track the work with which are project master schedule, linear responsibility chart, your end diagram, and Gantt chart for monitoring. That's all. Thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. I am Muhammad Zarasrat bin Zahari. As for my part, I will present about the work breakdown structure. So here is the list of activity, duration, and predecessor of this project. The evaluation of this project will address the set of action or uh, analog uh, processes to uh, needed to satisfy this project prerequisite. So next, who is handling the project is responsible for the defining the resource requirement to determine the resource requirement to carry out the activity associated with the project. Thus, with excellent budgeting, they can prioritize which aspect of this project can be finished in order of spending. This is the total price for preliminaries or legal component. As we assume, the Unimap building has three floors. This is the price for installation of motion sensor in terms of wiring and fitting. Here is the summary of the total spending overall for this project. As for project master schedule, this part will be taken We'll be talking a lot in the gun chart section. So we move to the next over. So moreover, linear responsibility chart represent the role and the duty involved in this project. So what do we get from doing this? Well, work breakdown structure is uh, essential. It's help the project manager and contractor to manage the project according to the availability and the structure of this activity. Thus, uh, with a proper structure procedure, it will ensure guidance to this project. Thank you for listening a bit of a uh, work structure that I given just now. We will continue with the next presenter. My name is Aidan Zati. I will present to you about the AON diagram. So AON diagram is used to show the network logic of a complete project schedule graphic cleaning. And it can be applied to any shorter span of time on the 
schedule that lend itself to be represent as having a start and finish. So this is a area and diagram of our project. Next is about the information content in AON node. So they have four. It is EST, EFT, LST, LFT. So the EST is the earliest start time. EFT is earliest finish time. LST is latest start time. And the LFT is a latest finish time. At the node, we can apply that the information. So this is our time for project. After we do the time of project, we label the information content, we do the activity slide. So this is our activity slide. We have from activity A and TJ and then we calculate the time of LST minus with EST and LFT minus with EFT. So we calculate and then we get the float days. And we choose the day that zero. We count it as a label it as a critical pass. So this is our critical pass. The critical pass are from A, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J. And the minimum day to complete the project is twenty four days. Next, I will pass to my friend. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Muhammad Kamaru Ishaq bin Muhammad Kamal. In this video, I will explain about gun chart of this project. One of the most common and effective method of displaying activities like tasks or events against time is a gun chart as shown in the figure which is frequently used in this project management. A list of activities is located on the left side and suitable time scale is located along the top. A bar is used to symbolize each activity and the position and length of the bar correspond to the activity's beginning, middle and finish date. This is made this made it simple to quickly identify the different activities, their beginning and ending times, plan duration, place where the place where the overlap and extend, and the start and completion date of the entire project. So, the completion of this project is to conclude overall project about planning and shaded has been proposed for Unimate building. This project is to install a commercial sensor at corridors and toilet for Unimate building. Students have been achieved objective of this project to develop the method on planning and shaded the project. Before beginning the project, budgeting is quite important. The project, the project completion date may be shown with the help of scheduling plan. The selection of motion sensor also important because it can affect budget for this project. Moreover, develop the complete develop the complete gun chart of the project also will help the project to complete in time and enough. Since this project is limited to a single building in the unit, this initiative we take to develop a single structure may be used for the whole unit building. This example of single building project provide the structure related suggestion for specific. That's all for me. Thank you.